still with sports because I know uh, you got your own company, well, I see before it's sports or network. Yeah, so yeah. I don't so, know which one is. All right, so like, okay, so let's, let's clear that up. I know a lot of people see like the I64 Sports or I64 Network. Mm -hmm. We're actually transitioning from I64 Sports to I64 Network. So like, being that we still mostly do sports stuff, that's why you'll still see I64 Sports. But like I said, ever since March, I've been able to kind of figure out what I want to do. So it's like, I know that I wanted to tell more than just, than just sports. Like, mm -hmm. I. I figured that like me, I'm a content creator, like whether that's through sports or anything else. Like so you saw me, you know, with the yeah. Black Lives Matter stuff over the summer and it's like, that's where I 64 Network comes from. So knowing also being kind of a forward thinker, like, hey, I don't think sports is coming back anytime soon, you know, mm -hmm. at least for us to be able to get out and cover. So why not kind of start jumping to another lane? Like this is kind of perfect time for that. Yeah. You know? Well, what was it like? Cause I know I seen you, um... A lot, at a lot of the Black Lives Matter stuff that was happening in seven five seven, what was that like being there covering covering uh, those events? Um, honestly, like the first one, it was you didn't know how it was going to go because mm -hmm. that was right after George Floyd, and that was like the first one was downtown North. I was right there. I was there from the beginning. It was actually in my old neighborhood in Yonge Park. That's where I'm from, from Yonge Park. So. Once I heard that it was going to be there, I was like, you know what, well, I definitely got to go shoot it. Like, it wasn't about sports. You know, it wasn't about sports at that point. It was like, you know what, well, I'm a black man in America, and this is history. Whether you're on the right side of that history or the wrong side of it, this is history, and I want to be there to capture that. You know, so it wasn't about I-64 sports, you know, anything like that. It was just, like, me as a black man just, just kind of being able to capture that moment and, you know, trying to be a part of that like but that first one man that first one was intense because like like i said that was right after george floyd so it's mm -hmm. like you didn't know how that was going to turn out because that was like when it was like riding going on and like i remember i remember it was at one point we was walking down brambleton and the police officers who did a great job by the way they did a great job of you know securing the event but you know who was circling the cars the crowd was circling the cars and there was this white lady and she like kind of jumped at the police and I'm like, oh shit, like, <laughs> right? So I'm like, oh shit, like fuck, but the police, like she was lit, she was staring at the police. She was like, she kind of like jumped on the car and she was staring at the police. And I'm like, oh shit, like this is about to go different, but it's crazy, right? This is how the community works. This is a group of people, black people, they came and was like, no, no, we, we're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? And, I was like, wow, that's crazy. Like, they weren't going to let her mess up the positive event that they created for the community. So, like, maybe maybe about 20 minutes or so later when the, um, when the rally was wrapping up. Again, some stuff kind of, like, people weren't clearing the streets. And, like, the, the community came. And I want to say it was the, um, it wasn't Black Lives Matter 757. I think it was, like, the new Black Panther Party or something like that. And they came and, again, the same thing. They were like, hey, we're not here for that, you know. And... Like I said, just being a part of that one, the one in Norfolk, and then I think the one in Portsmouth was the following that maybe two days later. Just being a part of that, it's like you're a part of history. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer about sports. It's just about witnessing, like, like I guess, like, you know, in, in, a, in a decade when we're talking about 2020, like, what what is that content going to look like? You know what I'm saying? Like It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. The history so, book's going to be crazy. Hopefully they don't leave it out. I, well, I think we're at the point now, and I was talking to my boy about this, we're in the information age. Like, yeah. it's hard to hide stuff, not not even just our generation, but the kids younger than us. Mm -hmm. You know, like, um, my interns and, you know, people younger than us, it's like, they don't have a filter. Yeah. They don't have, like, you see it, like, every day, like, I'm sitting here, like, debating with these kids I used to write about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see it, like, they're like, this, that, and the third, but it's like, they, have, they make some great points, but it's like, you know, with these kids, they don't look at it like, Dang, that's Jamar from, you know, I-64, that's Deshaun from Seven City Soup Tape. They're like, no, nah, we know exactly what you know. It's like, the information is there. We can Google the same stuff you can Google. So, like I said, man, it's just, but being a part of that this summer, man, it was it was dope, man. It was dope. And being able to, because you hear, you hear a lot of people that try to flip the message. Like, it was violent and, you know, people was looting. And to, mm -hmm. to you know, know what, I got footage of that. So, I was, I actually was able to show my, um at the time, my mother-in-law, I was able to show her, like, look, this is, you know, what's going on, and, you know, even she was like, you know, I thought it was just a whole bunch of young people going crazy, but, you know, she was able to see it, so it's dope, man. It was real dope.